Air Pressure was co-produced by Leo Pfeiffer and Coleman Anderson, and we're fortunate to have both of them with us in the studio today. Welcome, you guys. So tell me, the story has some difficult concepts to convey without dialogue. What was the hardest part to telling this story through images alone? The hardest, um, I guess, concept in our film to visually convey was the idea that the fire wasn't his fault. Um, so we spent a lot of time planning um, that second flashback and how we would show, visually show to the audience that it was somebody else and that he should be alleviated from all this guilt that he's been feeling. One of the great things about the program at Ballard is that we do a lot of, um, I guess, peer review. So when you have a rough cut of your film, you screen it to the other people in your class and they give you feedback on it. Um, and so originally, that shot where the glass flies out of the photographer's camera, originally that was just the glass, but then we had the idea, or somebody in our class had the idea, mm -hmm. um, to show the reflection of him in the glass. So I think that made it a lot more clear that the glass is flying and going to hit mm -hmm. the balloon. So the young man and the old man match up really well. They even have some physical mannerisms that match up. How did you do the casting? We started out trying to do a fairly traditional casting. Uh, we posted advertisements on a few websites hoping to get mm -hmm. uh, actors to try out for the two roles. But the two actors we ended up going with were really just people. Um, Leo's neighbor played the younger character and I had a, the old man had acted in one of my previous films. Oh. Cool. Um, so yeah, we decided to go with them because we knew that they would both be good actors, mm -hmm. um, and they fit the role pretty well. Yeah, they definitely did. What's the most important thing you took away from this production? You know, instead of just having a group of two or three people and working with them to make the film, uh, we brought in a lot of other people um, from the program at Ballard. Mm -hmm. um, so Josh Redivo, who's a senior this year, mm -hmm. uh, he was our cinematographer for the film. Um, DJ McCoy, who's uh, a sophomore at the program in the program, he did the visual effects for that shot where the glass is, is flying at from wow. the camera. Mm -hmm. um, and then we had a few other people who helped out. So I guess the experience of being able to bring other people in, working with other people, and then in general just kind of managing a larger scale production, those, that was a really great thing to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, well, that was also our first movie with a budget. So we had to keep track of our money and spend it pretty creatively. Yeah, so we used crowdfunding um, to raise money to make the film. Uh, and that was, that was a really interesting experience in itself. What was your budget? Um, we ended up spending about $500 on the film. Wow, that's a lot. So what would you guys like to do in the future? Um, I know that in the future I want to go into film. Mm -hmm. um, film is something that I'm really passionate about, and so I know that I want to pursue it. Um, I'm still, I'm just a sophomore this year, so I have some more time. Uh, one of the really great things the program does is it goes, we do a trip every year um, to Los Angeles. So I think like 12 students go out. I went this year, mm -hmm. Coleman went last year. Um, and we look at different colleges uh, that have film schools, and we tour the film schools. We talk to program, uh, Ballard program graduates who are mm -hmm. at the film schools now. Um, and then we also talk to different people who are in the industry and talk about their paths to get in there. So that gave me like a, that gave me a really great way to see some of the different options I have for my future, mm -hmm. where I want to be, and the different ways to get there. Yeah, that's a great opportunity. Yeah. and. Um, I'm really in the same position as Leo. Um, I think I'd like to have a career in film, but I'm not mm -hmm. really sure what I want to do specifically, and I think college is a really good time to figure that out. Being in the program, uh, my horizons have really broadened, so I'm now interested in narrative and documentary. So I'm, I know, yeah, I know I want to pursue one of those or both of those mm -hmm. in the and future. And you've had work featured on C-SPAN, right? Yeah. Yeah. So how else is the Ballard Digital Filmmaking Program helping you reach your goals? We do a lot of different units in class, um, but sometimes there's just different times, or you want to be able to have more time to work on something. Um, the program will support you in that as far as pre-production and planning your story, um, and then nice. as far as production and post-production. So mm -hmm. that's, that's, in my opinion, one of the greatest things about the program is that they support students with you know, mm -hmm. so many different things. Well, thanks to you both for joining us today and continued good luck with your films. The study of advertising is an essential skill in this commercial society, so it's one of the first things students study in the intro film class. Intermediate and advanced students take these skills further by selecting organizations and businesses we admire and helping them get their message out. I selected Project Unified as a client and produced this public service announcement with Kaisa Wolford. 